Hi, I'm Stuart McConaughey, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to manually set your tool height offsets with a quarter inch puck. Before we get started, I want to go over some of the tools that we use to help us be successful. The first tool is we have a quarter inch puck. This puck is precision made to within tenths at exactly a quarter inch. The second tool that we're going to use is a one, two, three block. This tool we're going to use to place in our vise so that way we have a perfectly flat surface that we know is from the bottom of our parallels up to a specific number. We'll then take our quarter inch puck and we'll place it on top of our one, two, three block so that way we know where the plane is. I have two tools that we're gonna use in this demonstration. The first one is a Stellram three inch face mill. And tool two is a half inch Kenna metal carbide drill. All right, so now we're gonna set our tool heights. First, we're gonna take our one, two, three block and we're gonna set it in the vise. Now, we're gonna take our three inch steel ram shell mill and we're gonna put it in our machine. First, I'm gonna press MDI, which stands for manual data input. Then I'm gonna type in T1 to call up my first tool and I'm gonna hit ATC forward. This is gonna tool change. Once we have our shell mill inside, we're gonna to go to hand jog, 10 thou increment, Z axis, and we're gonna hand jog slowly down to the top of our one, two, three block. Once I get to about an inch above, I'm gonna to go to the one thou increment so I can slowly get close, and that way I can put my quarter inch puck on the block. You always want to push the puck on the back side of the cutting flute so you don't damage the cutting edge. I'm going to then click up in the thou increments until my puck slips by. Once my puck slips by, I'm going to lower it back down and one by one click up until my puck barely slips by. Now that my face mill is exactly 0 0.250 above my one, two, three block, I'm simply gonna come over and press tool offset measure. This is gonna populate the Z position of my tool. Now I'm gonna simply hit next tool and it's gonna automatically change. The cool thing about using next tool is it automatically changes from 1,000 Z increment to 10,000 Z increment. So I can quickly bring the spindle down. I'm gonna use the exact same process for this next tool. Now that I have my tool exactly 0.250 above, it's exactly like touching off my other tool. I'm gonna come over and hit tool offset measure. Now that I have my Z positions, I'm simply gonna take my 250 from the top of the puck to where I want my tool, and I'm gonna minus it on each and every offset. You should always start at the top and work your way down. Simply come over and hit negative 0.250, enter, down cursor, negative 0 0.250, enter. And you would do this for all the tools. Now that our tools are set, we're ready to cut some chips. 